1. How much will the bye week help Auburn in this game? Josh Vitale, the bye week could prove huge for Auburn given how tough its November slate is. After Texas A&M, the Tigers face number 1 Georgia and number 2 Alabama with Louisiana Monroe sandwiched in between. Having last week off allowed Auburn to get a number of key pieces, Casey Dunn, Mike Horton, Darius James, Tree Williams, Trey Matthews and Javaris Davis, healthy for the stretch run. And if that's not enough, Auburn is 6-0 after bye weeks during the Gus Malzahn era. Damian Dennis, Auburn will benefit greatly from the bye week. Outside of Cameron Petway, most of the team has healed up and looks to be close to, if not, 100% for game day in College Station. Trey Matthews returns at a time when the Auburn secondary needs all hands on deck, while a never changing offensive line could be cemented for the first time in a few weeks. The Petway injury will impact the ground game to a point, but Karrion Johnson and the other backs should be capable without him. Scott Fields, I expect Auburn to dial in on the task at hand and roll with the proven track record of Gus Malzahn in games after bye weeks. In each of the four previous years, Auburn has turned around and won the game following the bye. Just one of those four games was on the road, and that game, a 30-27 win at Kentucky in 2015, was the closest of the bunch. Still, Malzahn's track record after bye weeks cannot be ignored. Two. What does Texas A&M quarterback Helen Mondo need to do to keep the two touchdown underdogs competitive with Auburn? Vitale, he needs to protect the football. That's been a problem of late for the true freshman, who has thrown four interceptions over his last three games and six over his last six. He's also been particularly inefficient over the Aggies' past two games, completing just 16 of 60 passes for 236 yards combined in a narrow win over Florida and loss to Mississippi State. Mund has shown the ability to be efficient in the past. He completed 19 of 29 passes for 237 yards and a touchdown in a one-score loss to Alabama last month and will need to have that type of performance as well as protect the ball for Texas A&M to stand a chance. Dennis, Kellen Mond needs to remain calm and focused if he hopes to lead his team against a formidable Auburn defense. The Aggies are averaging 196 yards per game passing and 191 on the ground. Mond has tallied 1,281 yards through the air and 350 on the ground, showing he has the skill to perform well. It'll come down to his composure. Fields, the freshman Mondo needs to limit his mistakes if he and the Aggies hope to stand chance to compete with Auburn. Mond alternated between mediocre to bad this season. He had a good game in the team's 45-21 win against Louisiana Lafayette.